New at five, a former scout for the Tennessee Titans is accused of first degree murder. Prosecutors say he killed his girlfriend and her unborn child. A grand jury indicted Blaze Taylor and he was arrested by a team of U.S. Marshals. Taylor is the son of former UT football assistant coach Trooper Taylor. The 27-year-old is accused of poisoning his girlfriend. Investigators say it happened last March and she was pregnant with their baby. Taylor called 911 on February 25th of 2023, claiming that his girlfriend was suffering an allergic reaction. Authorities say they couldn't interview her before she died on March 6th. A Nashville grand jury indicted Taylor after months of investigation. After the death of his girlfriend, Taylor moved west to coach football at Utah State. Authorities now plan to escort him back to Tennessee to face the murder charge. New at five. Street, my man, there you have it, dog. <laughs> Bro. Another crazy episode. As the football spins, dog, what is going on, man? You know Trooper Taylor? Actually, I do know Trooper Taylor. Uh, I know mm -hmm. him, I didn't know that was his son until I saw this clip. I didn't right. realize that was his son, but uh, yeah, I know Trooper Taylor well, man. I had some recruiting stuff with him with a, <sighs> a recruit we had that uh ended up going to Auburn while he was there. So, uh, yeah, man, Trooper Taylor. That's a dark start to the show, bro. It's kind of sinister, ain't it, bro? Hey, we on Hay Street, dog. Ain't no telling what you get on Hay Street, man. Right now, hey, the 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 uh the Hay Street G five has landed in Colorado, and we're gonna talk about it. Uh, as you can see, it's snowing up here. My dog got his hoodie on. I got my yeah. t shirt on because I'm from the crib. But uh, anyway. <laughs> Shout out to everybody in the building on Hayes Street, man. Go ahead and hit the like, share, and subscribe button. We are dual streaming this on Coach Hayes Football as well as Footballville. Yes, sir. And uh, like I say, man, just enjoy. It's a Friday, and uh, we here, man. But like I said, it's February of 23, so this is over a year ago. This happened. I guess he just got indicted uh, for this deal, man. But that's crazy. Another Another situation, you know, we don't know the motive, but he said pregnant girlfriend. I think he got charged with two counts of murder for the young lady and the baby um right and so bro, i don't Tough. know what these cats be thinking about dog that's this this bring me back to ray caruth for some reason hmm. this bring me back to ray caruth dog i know what they think about but i don't see how you go <laughs> i don't see I, I i understand what he's thinking about you know what i'm saying but i don't see how you how you take the thought that far, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, I get it, I understand. You know what I'm saying? I don't been in some sticky, icky situations where it was like, mm, hmm, maybe if I just you just want to pull out the eraser, huh? <laughs> <laughs> maybe I, if I just hmm, but I don't see how you, yeah, how I get that far when you go ahead and purchase the rat poison. I don't, I don't, that's too much though. But Ray, I mean, Ray Crew, my bad. Uh, looking at J Dub, what's up with y'all, man? We're going to give a shout out to you in a second. But poisoning somebody is real sinister, dog, because that takes time. Like, I mean, I don't know if he just put a bunch of whatever it was. We just all speculating. But if you're going to poison her slowly over time and she's got your child. Right. Bro, you, 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 you yeah, dog, he's going to get a death penalty, dog. Cause that's oh, beyond premeditated, like premeditated, like, boy, she pissed me off. Ooh, I'm thinking about it. I'm going to go over there and I go, bro, you done set up there and hmm, take that baby. Hmm. Take that baby. Nah. That, yeah. And if he, you know, I'll just say this since it's alleged, but he's been indicted. I don't need, he don't need to sit there for years. Go on, go on in and hit him in the vein right quick. <laughs> do they even do that anymore? Oh yeah. Definitely. Yeah, in Florida, right. we got rid of old Sparky. Now we used to have an electric chair. They got rid of the electric chair. They said it was inhumane. So right. they, so the, so it's the so it's the it, they got a what you call it, man, lethal injection now. But right, you know, I don't Dang. know, dog. That's, let me ask you a quick question. Let, let, let's go a little that's crazy. That's let's go a little crazy. It's Friday. 
Let's go a little crazy, Street. Okay, go shoot it. Should somebody who did something sinister as this have some humanity? Say it again. Should somebody who did something as sinister as this, mm-hmm. or or someone, I won't say him because he hasn't been convicted yet, but okay, I mean we're talking about these red-handed death penalty cases. Should they have? I'm just asking. Should they have? some humanity to their death, even though they're being put to death. Should they be able to be put to sleep first and then they stop their heart? Or should, should they feel it? Okay, only? for the people that went to public school, right? I, I explain. <laughs> should, should they what? <laughs> should, they, should it be okay, easy, so, you trying to say? Like, should it be? Yes, yes. It's like, you know, they say inhumane conditions. What I mean is they say the electric chair because there's a point where you're still alive and you're going through the convulsions and you're feeling it. When you right. get the lethal injection, they put you, you actually go to sleep first, just like you were going to go into surgery or whatever else. And you just, and you just and wake up dead. Stop. And you just wake, and you just wake up dead. <laughs> you don't wake up dead, but you wake up. <laughs> you don't wake up dead, but you wake up as one of them gates. I don't know which gate you at. I don't know if you hit the elevator and went down or went up, but you, oh, you just, and you just you wake up gone. <laughs> you just wake up gone. No, you woke up like this. Who is hot? Ooh, where we at? God dang. Boy. Somebody cut the air conditioning on, boy. Really joking about this. What's going on? No, I'm man? asking. I'm just saying. Should they or or what? What you mean? Should they have some but humanity? I'm, should it be humane? What you saying? It should be a firing squad. What what, what are we getting at here? What, what? No, right. What I'm saying is for people who do things this crazy, do should they have the right to be put to death in a peaceful manner? Because the person they put the the person they killed didn't go in a peaceful manner, and I for and I thank you, LMV. Um, everybody like to quote the Bible. I for I. Um, Can't I think, quote it when it's convenient. I think. Hmm. I mean, if you don't want to answer, I get it, but. You know, for example, man, you worked in the prison system. You've been around some stone cold killers. Do you yeah. think that dude, even though he may go in there, he was remorseful and X, Y, and Z, but you got people out here. Uh, what was the, that, that young boy's name in Miami named King, the little son, little boy King. King Carter. King Carter. He had the plane in the front yard, get shot. He probably, he probably didn't pass away peacefully and, 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 and peaceful. He probably suffered. You know what I'm saying? So right. that's what I'm asking. Um, I know we're going way left. We're going to talk I about think, Shadur in the cold think, weather in a second, but I think, um, okay. So I did, I worked in the jail. I worked in Dade County jail and I seen a few murderers come through like famous ones, the Facebook killer. I seen a little boy that shot the, the Asian girl at the, the nail shop, the little baby. Um, I seen a little boy that was wrestling with his little sister and put her under the slammed her the wrong way, killed her, put her under the put her under the bed. I think I seen I I I, I was there my new when the Jamaican guy came through that tried to that killed his wife and tried to kill his kids and tried to with, was chopping them up with a machete, tried to kill all of them. Um dog, this and this is what I found out, dog. Like to us, we're hearing a story. Man meets girl, man kills girl and daughter. I for an eye, he killed her. He should get it back. But man, sometimes talking to these dudes, man, like sometimes talking to these dudes, and you start hearing the story and you like, oh, that ain't as black and white as we <laughs> as we thought it was. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, 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 unless you were there, right? You can't really understand why would somebody try to kill a family. You know what I'm saying? Like, we write it off. We write it off. It's crazy. We put it in a crazy box, and in our minds, we imagine a man going crazy, turning green, and start killing his family. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But man, I mean, what if it's more complicated than that? What if he didn't want to see his rivals cut his family heads off one by one 
and he shot them. You know what I'm saying? Like no, I've heard some different. great. No, but those are so okay. Those are different. I I can agree. Like for example, yeah, but you would never think that. Like you would never think. <laughs> you would never think that. Damn, I ain't think of that. I didn't think that <laughs> he was in a room and people was gonna kill his family anyway. And he decided to do it. Like Kaiser so says. Like I, okay, I get where you're coming from. That that like circumstance. Like for example, if you kill someone, and I guess they give you the death penalty, but we're talking about heinous crimes ain't like i'm talking about you know for example you brought the young boy that was wrestling with a sister and he killed her no uh -huh. i don't think that was intentional now of course he didn't get a death penalty usually death penalty paces uh cases are for um the most extreme deals all right and usually for heinous acts lack of lack of care in the world remorse and all that other stuff for example right. them dudes that go nuts in the and the, the dude that killing up their whole family and they going off or they over there taunting like they the gang dudes that don't they rivals up and they taunting the family that you done killed the cat. And I get it. That dude may have killed some folks. I get it. But he got right. what he deserved. If that was the case, this dude that's on trial killed him for killing them other people. And right. he went in an agonizing way. Right. All I'm saying is. I don't have no mercy, dog. Even if I, if even if it was me, I may be praying. Please, y'all don't do me like that. But I have to understand. I mean, I like it, but I have to respect. Yeah. It. Re remember the story where the guy woke up in the middle of the night and girlfriend was in the bathroom using the toilet and he shot her. And it was a huge case. Mm -hmm. It went on for a long time. In the middle of the night, shot her, killed her, and I think he got off. Shot mm -hmm. through the door. He thought somebody had broken the house. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And when you hear the story, you like, man, man, what? That's real though. I you don't want to buy it, right? You don't want to buy it, right? Right? Yeah. But could you imagine being in his shoes, right? <laughs> Knowing he loved his girlfriend to death, he didn't try to kill her, and and for some reason really thought somebody was in the house for whatever what reason. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm just saying I've seen it from the other side. But you're talking about that kind of case. I'm talking about heinous killings. I'm talking about you slice up your wife and your son in the bed. These are heinous. Not that you made a mistake. You thought somebody broke in. Right. What? That's not heinous. I'm talking about. You, you, you know what I'm saying? Kill. It. Yes, yes, yes. Not, but, well, well, because all I'm trying to tell you is, hey, it's hard to judge. Because you're never you're really ever going to get the guy saying, yeah, I woke up that morning. Like taking out a few people. You're really yeah, going to get that. I get it, but killing somebody, dog, <laughs> in that manner, it, there is no explanation for doing that, dog. I'm just, that's what I'm trying to, that's what I'm trying to tell you. You see how you get there? <laughs> but sometimes, like what I'm saying is, is that it's hard to judge. It's hard to judge if, you're, if you wasn't there. He may very well even walk in there and be like, I did it, right? But Maybe, maybe, maybe he had to do it. Maybe the dude he owed a hundred thousand dollars came in there and made him do it. Like, 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 dog. I've heard enough crazy stories, right? So I was like, okay, I see why people go to trial. But those circumstances are different than heinous crime street. I don't, I don't think we understanding each other. Like, we're talking about a Jeffrey Dahmer who killing yeah. people and eating folks. Yeah, you can. Talking, yeah, that, now that was clear. Yeah, but we're talking <laughs> heinous right. crime. I'm not talking about uh, I'm stuck between a rock and a hard place, and I'd rather do it at my hand instead of the hand of the Mexican cartel. I'm talking about a dude come in and so, cut so, his whole so face. Jeffrey Dumb, so Jeffrey Dummer, right? You're saying that he he should get laid to rest. How? The most inhumane possible. And who's Just going like to? Did. Who's going Just to like do it? Did. Who's going to do it? There's no Reaper. There's no Grim Reaper on the on the staff at the at the Day County Jail. <laughs> yes, it is. Now, now, the same dudes, the, the same dudes in Tallahassee. They used to flip the switch on old Sparky. That's what they, I'm saying. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm saying. So, so, so the guy, the guy that has to do that, right? Okay. There was a guy I, that I, did I, it. I, right. I think it's inhumane for him too. I think. I, you know what I'm saying? Like, 
Of course it is. Hey, what the fuck? Like, I told you we're gonna get messy. It's Friday. <laughs> Hey, you looking like you looking like hey man went to went to work today man uh f- switch on two or three people if that's your job you chose that job yeah, Street, you think... chose that job you don't have to be the executioner you don't want your it's no saying. different Hold on, it's no saying. different it's no different than the doctor is the one who actually inserts the needle into the arm he knows that needle is going to be the needle that kills that guy and in, in my sense that guy has the same job yeah, and he also has to go home with that and live with that. So, so and quit, find somebody else, or let a <laughs> let a family member do it, bro. I wouldn't. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just saying. You still okay? If okay, so for the people who who believe in God and think they're gonna die and go to some pearly gates, you don't think you got an answer for that? For the people who believe this, all right. You don't, I think, got you don't think when you wake up dead? <laughs> I got a better one for you. You I, got to explain? Mm, hey, I got uh, a better one. Give it to one of them stone cold oh, dudes. God, on it, was, death row. it was paying good. It was, it was 25 hours, God. All right. <laughs> I'm with you. So guess what, then? Guess what? Give it to one of them stone cold killers on death row, and we'll give you a, the plush sale if you do it. Because they going to. Somebody out there going to do it. <laughs> Somebody. Yeah. I don't think a Jeffrey Dahmer. I don't think he should. Re- I don't think he should receive humanity. I, I agree. I, I don't. I'm just saying, like, there's no Grim Reaper. They ain't like you could call him. And there's no Reaper on the staff where he gonna come around with his black dress on and they <laughs> hey, call a Reaper man, tell him he got three jobs to do today. And he come up to the state to the state prison, and and you got yeah, a Reaper there. Yeah, street. Yes, they <laughs> so are. There's a real person that got to do it. I know, and we got him every day. We the United. If y'all don't think the United States got assassins. And y'all don't think all the other countries got people that do that kind of stuff? There's some cold blooded folks in this world. I was a Marine, Hayes. I know. There, so why you saying? So, so, so why are you saying they not? They don't exist. They exist because they do deal. In, in the end, in the end, they do deal with it when they're young and they gun hold. They want to be snipers, and that's all they want to do. They don't. They, no, listen. There are people that don't want to be in the office in the Marine Corps. They want to be in the field with a rifle in their hand, a scope. Sniping people. That's right. Yeah, they but don't. They yeah, they, they don't want to break. They they. I came in here to defend my country. I'm here to kill. I get it. So so, so you're right. There are people that are like that. But I think in the end, when they look back, right when that gung ho shit over, <laughs> they still have to deal with the fact that they've looked through that scope and took out thirty. You know what I'm saying? You don't forget it. It don't go away. So I'm going to tell you what I know about this. When they used to do firing squads, Mm -hmm. they have maybe five, seven people up there, but only one of them has a real bullet in the gun. So they never know exactly who made the the fatal shot. Oh, there you go. That's the reason they did that. There you go. That's exactly what I'm talking about. It's a reason, right? I get it. But, Mm -hmm. But also... Every night, all seven of them dudes thinking, "Am I the one who pulled it? Am I, was it mine?" But well, they ain't got to take it though. They ain't, they, no, ain't gotta, they ain't got to own up to it though. So that's there's exactly many other ways. But there's many other ways to do it that don't have to be at the hands of a human being. Yeah, you okay. ask me. I duct tape his ass to a tree in the Everglades and leave him there. <laughs> oh. And let the bees and. And mosquitoes and some barbecue whatever. sauce on them. Whatever. Put a little blood. Put some barbecue whatever. sauce on them. Put some hot dogs in his pocket. <laughs> Bro, if something like that ever happened to my family, I don't have no understanding, Daryl Streeter. I have none. On some King Carter, your kid out there playing in the front yard. I have n- I have none. Well, you do it then. If it's my family member, I ain't got no problem. We well, want to press the button, pull the trigger, hit the switch. Which one? What are we talking here? I ain't got no problem. None. Nah, I, I don't think dumber. Nah, I think dumber should have, could have, yeah. They could have put dumber at the bottom of a mountain and just rolled the boulder down. <laughs> like how, about, just, how about huh? tie, him, tie him to the boulder and roll it down the hill? <laughs> but we far, we far from Shadur not wanting to play in the snow next year, are we? Yeah, we wait. Yeah, we, we got real messy. All right, let's go. 
Let's get into this, man, real quick. So Blaze Tom, I mean Blaze Tom, Blaze Taylor, Donnie C says, and I may be wrong. I wouldn't. I ain't never been on no firing squad. Mm -hmm. Wrong. One doesn't have a real bullet. I don't understand why that would be. Why would? I'm not saying you're wrong. I'm I'm trying to find the logic. Why would six have a real bullet and one not? <laughs> uh, maybe Unless maybe just funny. maybe you missed what you were saying. I was saying that if it, you know it's five guys up there, one of them has the real bullet. I don't I don't know, man. Who cares? At the end of the day, he's right. So 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 right. So nobody can say they have death blood on their hands, is what he's saying. Like there's no way to tell who actually me. delivered the side, and now you can go home and pray to baby Jesus and get saved and do whatever you gotta do. Reasonable doubt. Look it up. I, I look it up, Donnie. See, I'm not saying you're wrong. I, I'll look it up. I, I mean, I, one thing about me, I don't have no problem saying I was wrong. Dog. Wait, what is he? What is he saying? What, what is he? What is he trying okay. to say? What I said was, there, let's just take five for example. There were five sniper guys in a firing squad. Okay. And what I said was, only one of the five had a real bullet. Right. The others right. did not. He's saying wrong. One doesn't have a only one doesn't have a real bullet. So I guess he's saying the remaining have real bullets. Only one does not. Why? Why? why Maybe why? he's right. I don't. He could why? be right. I don't know. Why, why would only one not? So they could all say, "Am I the one that doesn't have it?" I guess it's it's tomato tomato. It's saying, "Am I the one that didn't have the real bullet?" Or you're saying, am I the one that had the real bullet? I think it's a glass full, half, half empty, half full situation. I think that's kind so, of what it I may be okay. wrong, bro, but I'll look it up and we'll definitely talk about it. So, I mean, so they can always be like, nah, I ain't never killed nobody. I didn't have a bullet. You know what I'm saying? You got, at least you got that. You know what I'm saying? I think it's, I, I think it's what they say, six in one hand and half a dozen in the other. I think I got that one right. So, <laughs> it's six. I'm just saying, I think we're saying the same thing. It's just in reverse. Uh, it le like you say, reasonable doubt. So it could be, I think it's reasonable doubt either way. But however, mm -hmm. it, it's like saying two and three. Two of y'all got real bullets and three of y'all don't. Which two had real bullets? Which one? Don't? I don't know, dog. But Donnie C, shout out to you. Appreciate you, dog. Um, OG Kane in the building. Paula Harvey, what's up with your members? King David, what's going on with you? LMV in the building. J.TV. Give a couple of shout outs here before we get deep into this uh, topic today. J. Dub, Christopher Dukes. Anybody over on your side of the street I'm missing here? Shout out, to, shout out to LMV. LMV got that thing popping last night, didn't she? <laughs> shout out to OG Kane. The OG Kane up in this book. <laughs> OG. 195 people in the building. Appreciate y'all. Thank y'all. Y'all, we are on Hayes Street. We are we are in Colorado. And the topic of today is Deion Sanders does not want Shadur Sanders playing for a cold NFL team, meaning a team up north that plays in the cold weather. Street, what's your take on this when you first heard it came across the ticker, which probably about five or six hours ago, I assume. Um, I, I think I think what he's saying is 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 it's obvious. His son's a quarterback. I want my son playing in the cold. I think he have a better shot tossing that, choking that rock around in Miami, in Texas, in in in, in somewhere where there's a dome. But what's going to happen is <laughs> the fact that he said it is going to open up a whole bunch of other doors of, of speculation. And, and, and you know what I'm saying? Mm. So here's the question. Is he wrong? No, nah, he's not wrong. Is he right? I think he is right. My son okay. played quarterback. I don't want him throwing the ball in Chicago. I just asked because. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I've been I've been looking at some message boards and stuff, and you've been hearing a lot of different takes on it, right? Right. Yeah, I'm gonna go back to something that happened previously, which everybody knows, but the message boards out there were saying he, he should be lucky he didn't draft it. Well, first of all, I think he's gonna get drafted regardless, even if he wasn't Deion Sanders' son, but he was still that person. His name could be Shadur Johnson. If he was the same kid, he would be getting drafted. I think he has the talent, definitely. To be a draft now, is he gonna be the number one pick? I don't know, but I know he's definitely a round one pick. I can say that with I believe 100 percent 110 percent certainty. Now, is he the number one pick overall? I don't know, might be number two. Who knows? But
But anyhow, um, I say all that to say because we saw a situation in Eli Manning that was drafted by the San Diego Chargers. He didn't want to go there, and he later got traded on to the New York Giants. Because here's the next question. Now, here's a great question. Shador Sanders, being the person he is, father, uh, uh, does great with marketing and social media and all of that stuff. And for all y'all NFL cats, just relax for a second. What if he does get drafted to the New York Giants, which is the largest media market in the world? Is that is that a deal breaker? Like, oh, we could play in the cold if we go to if we go to the Giants. Oh, it ain't nothing you could do about it anyway. He could. They could do what Eli Manning and them did. We're not going they, to what San they Diego. Do? What did they, they do? Draft, San Diego Chargers drafted them and they said mm -hmm. no, we're not coming. So they ended up trading them later. Okay, I mean, but help the people out who don't understand, completely understand, like, how does that work? They can say, hey, we're not coming, right? Mm -hmm. But but how, what what was the deciding factor for it to change for them? What do you mean? Like, he wasn't going. He said, I'm not going. So they drafted him, and then they used, they traded him off. I don't know what they traded him for. It's been too long. I don't remember. They didn't have to, though, right? They just... You don't have to. You don't have right, to, right, but right. he also... He also don't have to show up. He's not obligated to show up. He ain't signed nothing. It ain't like the military draft. I would love to see how that plays out. <laughs> I, would love to, I would love to see how that play out. Like, no, it, like you don't it have just to. played itself out. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's, a, it's like a job, Street. You go you go apply for a job. They offer you a job. And you say, no, nah, I'm good. Never mind. I'm not going. I don't want to work there. I'd rather work at Home Depot instead of Lowe's. I don't know. I mean, he doesn't have to. I know. See, we think we have to go, but he doesn't. He doesn't have to go. Hmm. But the team that drafts you has the rights to you. No, he hasn't signed anything. So hmm. I don't know. I don't right. know. That's right. That's right. Right. I would love to know how that play out. I think they ended up trading him. They did trade him to the Giants. Uh huh. But I don't know the details. Fact checkers in this chat, give us some details for y'all. Remember. Um, what happened? What did they trade him to the Giants for? So please, y'all, y'all get on your uh, your stuff and let us know. Um, Obasi says, so why did he go to Colorado then? See y'all, trying boy, look here, boy, y'all be trying <laughs> to throw the rock and hide the hand. Nope, they be trying, dog. <sighs> Reggie says, Coach Hayes, does Sanders, does the Sanders name carry much weight as the Mannings? What do you think? Um, I think it's a weight. I don't think it's a weight thing if you're saying, Hayes, hey, man, I don't want to go. I'm not coming. I don't think I didn't do a weight. I think um I would love to see how 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 that play out. Like, like, do they just put you on ice? You know what I'm saying? Like. I don't know. I So I guess here's my real question. And I'm going to ask this to the chat. Yes or no? Y'all throw it in the chat. Deion Sanders, a.k.a. Coach Prime. Coach Prime, a.k.a. Deion Sanders, does not want Shador to go to a cold climate NFL team. Understandable. That don't mean it's not going to happen. But if he had to go to one, do you think the New York Giants, because of the media market, do you think that would be a reason he'll say break the ego, he would break the deal. I say yes. I say yes. That he's gonna be like, my son could be in Times Square on, on big uh, thousand foot dog on billboards that light up and shine. He could be wearing the Rolex right there. He got Tiffany cuff links and everything else. He have all kind of stuff going on. <laughs> yeah, that would definitely be great. That that'll be great. That's a great market for him. Um, I, I think, I think, I think, uh, I'm gonna go light on this. I think what he was saying is just a thought. Like, I think he's having a conversation with somebody and he's saying it right. Mm -hmm. But when it gets printed, it, it, it turns into something a lot bigger. Um, a lot Dean larger. Sanders. right? Yeah. yeah, bro, he's Deion Sanders. Do you think, uh, 
Do you think Jonathan Guilfort's father, when he said that, it makes a difference? I think it makes it. I honestly don't think you have to be famous. I honestly don't think you have to hold weight to say it. I think it makes it. I think I just think is is are they going to stand on business or not? And if they're going to stand on business, if it could be Caleb Williams and his team. Well, because Caleb Williams has the name, but I'm talking about Jonathan Guilford. Do you think Jonathan Guilford's father, who did an interview and said that, do you think he gets the same traction? Oh, no, no, no. No, because I don't even no. know who the hell Jonathan Guilford is. Right. They may make an example out of Jonathan Guilford. <laughs> I, just made, I, I just made that name up. I don't right, know who right, Jonathan right. Guilford is. I was just saying, some guy... So he doesn't have the leverage or the power uh, right. so far as the name. And you notice uh, somebody said John Elway did that as well. Uh, that might be a little bit before my time. I was a youngster. When yeah, John I think Elway. he was one of the first ones that did it. Um, yeah, I, Was it Eli Manning? I know it Eli was, did it. It was I know Eli. Eli Manning? Yeah. I know Eli did it. Um, So anyway, that's that's interesting, man. That's interesting to find out. You got any other thoughts? I, I think Dion talk. I think when Dion be Dion doing a lot of talking, <laughs> and I think um, uh, uh, I just think it opens up a lot of doors, right? I, I think it's you start thinking about well, you're sitting in the middle of Colorado, like uh, how do you feel about him being here in Colorado playing? Um, you know what I'm saying? Like, how you feel about being in Colorado? And I think it starts opening up Pandora's box. I think the difference in college and NFL is the time of year. Yes, it gets cold in Colorado, but football is over in November. It don't get cold till January, February. You know what I'm saying? That late December, January, February is when it's really cold, cold you know, playoffs and so forth and so on. Uh, real quick, some backstory. CW, he is a by son, but you are entitled to be whatever you want to be. Uh, here <laughs> on this channel. Uh, CW, for the record, the Chargers actually drafted Eli number one. Yes. He was traded for uh, Jalen, F- I'm sorry, Philip Rivers and some draft picks. So they drafted him. He didn't want to be there, and they used that as leverage to pick up you know, I think a pretty decent quarterback in Phillip Rivers and some draft, some draft picks. So shout out to him. And then John, just, CW also said John Elway threatened to go play baseball if the coach drafted him. So, all right, all right. Just as good, Phillip Rivers. Huh? Phillip Rivers just as good as Eli. Minus the championship, I think so. Yeah. Um, Deion Sanders did it too. Hold up, man. Wait a minute. <laughs> I think Deion. De- De- I was th- I was just thinking of that because I was like, dang, I know it was somebody else, and Deion Sanders' name did pop because he had he, he had um he had options. But the difference was okay. I- I'll go with that. But I think the difference was I think Eli was the only one to actually be drafted and they use that as leverage to pill, pick up a quarterback and some his draft picks. That's tough. Shout out to CW, man. Love Prime, but he's close to jumping the shark. Hmm. See, that's that bison talk. What does that mean? <laughs> jumping the we shark. The we from the crib, dog. CW, from he from New York, son. And he from up there somewhere. He's jump, a bison. Jump, jumping the shark. What does that mean, C? Hey, hey, assistant. What does the saying "jumping the shark" mean? The See. saying you're referring to is "jump the shark." It means that something, often a TV show, has reached a point where it starts to decline in quality or veers into ridiculousness, indicating that it's past its peak. The phrase comes from an episode of the show Happy Days, where the character Fonzie literally jumps over a shark while water skiing, which many viewers saw as a sign that the show was running out of fresh ideas. Use it in a sentence for me. Hey, uh... Sure, 
Here's how you can use jump the shark in a sentence. Many fans think the series really jumped the shark when they introduced time travel in the fifth season. Uh, I was walking down the street and slipped and fall. Did I jump the shark? No. I, mean, I hope you're okay. Slipping and falling can be quite a shock. <laughs> Did you get hurt or are you all right? I'm straight. I'm straight. I'm straight. Thanks for asking. Thanks for asking. Hold on. Let's go back. I'm let's go back. You're okay. <laughs> if you have any other questions or just want to chat, feel free to let me know. All right. Hey, later tonight, it's me and you. Good to hear that you're all right. If there's anything else you'd like to talk about or ask, I'm here to help. That's kind of crazy, ain't it? Well, yeah, hey. You know how many boyfriends she got? You know how many dudes <laughs> up there talking to her phone? And she like, hey, so how you doing tonight? Are you okay? I, you think how far? I wonder how far she, I wonder how far she go. I'm sure, I, I wonder how far they go. Know. They're gonna remember. start making tele first they're gonna start making personal ones with your, your own personal one that's you know what I'm saying. Her voice sound a little uh it's like she got a little I put it this way, she sound like she like hot sauce on the collard greens, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> she, got little, she got a little Robin Givens in her, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but anyway, jump in the shot. I never heard that term. Appreciate that CW. Uh, but he's talking about from happy days. Lord have mercy. I know, right. Uh, but anyway, um, he said he's from West Palm Beach. I know, man. I need you to call in on the next show. <laughs> oh, Lord. Hey, What's see, up? LMV? This is why I love LMV. Coach Hayes football and Chico's prime debate jumped the shark. <laughs> friends like this, boy. Hey, with friends like this, who need enemies, boy? Nah, it ain't jumped the shark. It got canceled. There's a difference. <laughs> anyway, um, so let me ask you this. Do you think that's a true statement CW just made that Coach Prime has jumped the shark for the $2? Let me put that back up so we can read it. He says, love Prime, but he's close to jumping the shark. So based on what uh, Shaniqua just said over there, <laughs> your system, do, you think, do you think that Coach Prime is kind of close to coming to the end and so forth and so on, based on what CW just said. No. Heck no. I I think it, we've been watching Prime for what 20, 30 years. And and at his elder age, it just revved up and nobody's time, you know what I'm saying? And, and it didn't bother anybody. Nah, I think no, nah, I, I think um, I think he's talking about the Colorado TV show, like that Colorado, not coach prime the person but the do you think the prime the, the colorado era is about to jump the shark i guess that's what he's saying the client well we only won four games right i mean i i think i think they're in a they they're they're in a place where they haven't been in 20 30 years i mean i mm, no don't know about that can't say they, that they I huh can't that. i can't say that not from no. winning what they were just, nah no they no they won one game the year before, prior to that, they were a four to five win team, they, three, four, five win team each year. I mean, it wasn't like it was. They've been one in some. They ain't been. They ain't been Kansas. I, it's not about winning. No, no. But I was just saying. You said they ain't been there twenty years. I'm just. A no, lot they of have not. Were, no, no. Their program have not been this, this significant in twenty years. Okay, that's different than the record, though. I just want to make sure. That's all I'm saying. Care. It's not about. Yeah, it's not about wins and losses. Well, I mean, take, no, but they'll take what you just said, Street. I'm telling you. <laughs> Colorado folks different, dog. You got to keep them straight. Footballville said we ain't been there in 20 years. <laughs> they ain't. Yeah, the program has not been this significant in 20, 30 years. I, as far as back, I can remember 1994, 90, Eric Enemy and Darian Hagan. And, and you know what I'm saying? That's about 30 I mean, years. I only remember that because they ain't used to come on TV at the crib. We ain't had no cable like that. You don't remember, the, you don't remember Colorado was good with Pritchard? Yeah, and but wide receiver I mean, and Darian Hagan and Eric B. Enemy, and they had that damn three man backfield. Well, they had, yeah, they had that, yeah. But what I'm saying, I can't ever say I remember watching any of their games. Oh, I'm not man, saying that's a bad thing, I'll just it say because one of my favorite teams, really. I was just saying it because yeah. of the way football was arranged. A lot of games were regional, so you didn't get those games. You could, it wasn't a 
an internet where you could go watch the game. So that's all I'm just saying. I'm, I'm not knocking what well, they I don't know, Yeah, they're one of my favorite all time teams. Um, I, I like, I, I, I was big on like they how they ran the ball with the, with the three man backfield and. I don't know. I like the way they I like the way they play the game. I like their uniforms. You know what I'm saying? I, and I never forgot the name being to me. Like the name stuck with me. <laughs> like, like, yeah. Um, yeah, bro. They I I I wasn't a Colorado Buffalo fan fan, but I just thought their concept was cool with the colors and kind of like what he's doing now. Told you, Street. I told you before we did this show. These people crazy. Look, blue moon. Thank you, Coach Prime, for providing fuel for content. Useless conversation. I told you they nuts. They nuts. That's the cult member. Those are cult members. <laughs> what are you trying to say? A useless conversation. But I'm just saying, this is what I'm these are the things I've been talking about. Like, tell you people, these people funny, man. These people funny. If you're not telling them that da 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 da, da it's useless. But anyway, shout out to Blue Moon, who I've never seen before. But thank you, Blue Moon, for coming by. <laughs> Hope you hit the subscribe button. You think Blue Moon a Colorado fan? Of course. Blue Moon, how many wins next year? Run it. Blue Moon, not a Colorado fan. Blue Moon is a new CU cult member. The Blue Moon can't tell you who the quarterback was in 2015. <laughs> that, that. How many wins next year, Blue Moon? All right, Street, you about to open up that window. Trust me, I do it every Tuesday, 8 30. <laughs> I wanna I wanna know. Look at this. Look at that, Street. Colorado <laughs> Colt versus the ILD squad. <laughs> oh, they're not gonna talk back. One thing about them, when you put them out there, they don't say nothing else. They, I'm telling you, they they running high. He coming. I got I got I got faith in him, dog. He coming. Street. Street. I bet you. I bet you uh five dollars. I'll put it out there just so he could prove me wrong. I bet you five dollars that he won't come back, she won't, whatever it is. We currently at four forty two right now on the clock, forty two forty fifty on the clock. By forty three twenty five, that's over the thirty second. They won't say nothing. And you done asked that question already a minute ago. JR say twelve and no. He laughed. He, he JR. I know JR boxing. JR stop. See, people take that and run with it. JR. I know you know better than that. JR Colorado fan. I don't, I don't. I know he's in the Colorado atmosphere, but I don't know. I don't know if he's a cult member or not. I, I don't know. JR, are you a cult member or are you just a, a realistic fan? I'm not sure. All right, here we go. Um, <laughs> Cowboy Mike says, "Cole, you can tell us." The last 30 UM quarterbacks and they still not winning. Go buffs. <laughs> he said that like Colorado winning. <laughs> now, now, Mike. Now, Mike. I know you're laughing at the crib right now, Mike. No, <laughs> Mike. You already know. JR, Texas fan, he said. Colorado winning eight games. Okay. I'm not saying they won't. I told you you're not going to respond. Look. How did you know that, dog? Dog, I've been doing this long enough. I'm telling you. These people crazy, man. These people crazy, bro. Yeah, JL Box says he's a supporter of Coach Prime. All right. A supporter of Coach Prime. They got different right. levels of fans, huh? Oh, I'm telling you. Hey, JR, real quick then. I know you said 12 and 0. Realistically speaking, what's your record prediction then? Realistically speaking. Put that up next for me, JR. And then I know he may have been playing. I don't know, but he may say 12 and 0 again. I don't know. L and V. Go sit in the corner right now, L and V. <laughs> she done got started. Talking about, yeah, talking about JR. He's solid. Seven and five. Seven and five. Hey, I want to play something for y'all, man. Can I play something for y'all? Run it. Okay, I'm, I'm we're gonna talk a little bit. Shout out to Rawhide Media. I want to play this thing. He has a thing called Raw Tunes, right? And this is hilarious. This is a perfect, this is a live show that he did, right? I've actually been featured in a few of these. But this is a, a live show that he did. And he did a cartoon about it. Uh, and this sums up, this sums up 
Colorado fans as a whole. That's where she got this solid from. You know what, LMV, go sit in the corner right now. I'm not going to allow you to do that. Is this it right here? Okay, here we go. Let me see if I can put this on the screen. He already gave me the, what you call it? He already gave me the, uh, the, the, the love. He's solid. Street, I'm going to play this, and I want uh -huh. you to really see. <laughs> I want you to really see. This is exactly what happens. All right, hold on. Let me get to the, to the thing. All right, I will say I want to do a disclaimer. You know, we don't really curse too tough on this show, but on Raw Hot Media, they get a little wide open, which is fine. But I want to play this because this actually uh, sums up everything in a whole right here. And this is hilarious. You got people on here. You got people on here like Law Dog. This Law Dog right here, he's actually a Miami fan, and he be giving the Colorado people the business. All right, watch this. You ready? I want you to watch this, though. This is for real. Hold up. Before we do that, got to get a little. Lawrence RBE, I'm trying to understand the issue. Elway and Manning manipulated the draft. Let me paint this picture. Atlanta is in a position. Draft should do Do they pass? All right. We'll discuss that right after this, but I want to play this. Hope, hope you don't mind, Lawrence. All right, here we go. Check this out, Street. You watching this? Watch this, though. Oh, y'all niggas don't get it, huh? Who, who's saying Joe and Seton gonna start though? You 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 say, you, you speaking like that? Oh, okay, okay. Who am I talking to? That's see that's see you, bus. Yeah, yeah. Okay, hold on, hold on, see you, bus. Let me ask you a question. <laughs> hey, hey, you know, it's good to see you on the panel, my nigga. <laughs> but back to you. What's up? What's up? See you, bus. Like, if he don't, what's up, bro? If he don't start, who you starting? If he don't start, you got you got a couple other cats. Mm -hmm. hey, you got uh, what's the dude name? Uh, you don't even fucking know. Oh, Connor, hold on, bro, slow down, bro. Don't try to fast talk. Go ahead, go ahead. I'm gonna slow it down. You got motherfucking Connor. <laughs> you got uh, come on, my brother. You got Fabian. You got uh, what's uh, this uh, either Vince and any of them cats is white. Okay, no, okay, no, okay, no I'm the LR. Stop it right here. Come on, let's stop. It. Hold up, hold up. Let's let's talk about it. Let's talk come about on. it. So the first person you name, they hold on, damn TV, get out of my way, brother. They have a conversation. So the first thing you talk about, David Connor, what, what he do last year, and what he do the year before that when he was at Florida, played a little bit. He all right, played a little bit. What's a little bit? He's solid. What's a little bit? He's solid. Did he play? He's solid. Did he play though? He's solid. See, nigga, don't niggas just say anything. Okay, let's talk about. Bro, that's a prime example. Prime example, right there, Street, of what <laughs> happens when you go to the dark side. He asked him, you gave all he named. When you asked, okay, what did he do? He's solid. He's solid. So did he play? He's solid. He's solid. He, that's all he, dog, that's exactly what you get. So shout out to Raw High. Uh, Y'all go check him out, man. He's been on here before. Y'all go subscribe to him, man. And that was a, that was not cut up. That was from a live stream. That was from a live stream. He just made a cartoon out of it. So people think like, nah, dog, ain't nobody just answer straight up like that. He's solid. He's solid. <laughs> no, I'm telling you, dog, these people are nuts, man. They nuts, dog. Hey, explain, explain that to the people. Like, give more detail for people who really don't understand what you're trying to say about, about your mean? interaction. Just, just about your interaction. Interaction so, with some of the fans. Explain it. Explain it to the people in the chat. All right. So when you talk about Colorado and people who, a lot of people who may follow my show, they see I do Colorado content on Tuesday. But when you ask questions like Law Dog, he said, "Okay, they were talking about Jordan Seaton, right?" And he said, "Okay, if Jordan Seaton doesn't start, then who's going to come there?" He gave off these li list list of names, and then Law Dog said. Okay, so what about the guy that's good? No, he said, where did he come from? He said, Florida. He said, all right. What did he do his first year at Florida? Injured. All right, so what he did his second year? He's solid. <laughs> no, no, no. Maybe you ain't hear what I'm saying. What I'm saying is like, what did he do? He's solid. So how is he going to help the team? He's solid. There's no answer. They're just talking. They're just like, because they listen to whatever they hear, and it's just, I, I don't even know how to answer it, dog. It's like, Who's on first? What's on second, dog? It's like that old dog. It's like who's on first? What's on second? 
it, it, you can't have a conversation with people, dog, because they're so over the moon about what's going on, but they don't really have any information to have a legitimate conversation. And that's why at the end you heard Law Dog say, man, y'all just say any damn thing. <laughs> He's solid. He's solid. I get it now. I get it. Ask me a question, Street. Ask me a question. Watch this. Uh, Coach, Coach Hey, so I know you're happy that Colorado picked up one of the top offensive linemen in the country, right? That's right. That's right. That's right. Mm -hmm. But what about the other four dudes on the offensive line? Tell me a little bit about them. Yeah, yeah they solid. Not a little bit more. Like go, go. Like tell me a little more. Who's who's the other tackle? Oh, they solid. Mm -hmm. Give me some names. Who, who's the right? Oh, uh, let me see. You got uh, I'm gonna say it like they said it because they ain't never said none of the right name. Ben, you got Benson. You got uh, uh, what's the boy name? Uh, uh came from uh, Connor. You got uh, 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 yeah, you know what I'm saying. So the opposite line should be better, why? Right? Yeah, cause they solid. <laughs> I mean, them, there's people, man. That them people, them, them like. They Hold like, on, why oh. you laughing? Hold up, but Streeter, why you laughing? Why you you a hater? It's because hey, I think I think some no, people are, no, are no, just that's saying, the problem. but they don't that's get the problem. Deep. No, that's the problem. You're laughing. And see, you don't like it because you don't want to see a black man win. You don't want to see Deion Sanders win. And that's the problem right there with y'all. Y'all get up there and y'all laugh and y'all don't want to see the man win. No, 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 no. I just wanted to, I just wanted to know more about the offensive line other than they they're, solid. They're solid. They solid. <laughs> they solid. Right. Right. Darren, they hit you with that, dog. That's like arguing with a woman, dog. Any other questions? Nah, for what? They saw you, you ain't answered the one I asked. What, what, what do you mean? So listen, moving on. Solid. Travis Hunter. He's, He's solid. solid. He's solid. He's solid. <laughs> He's solid. <laughs> anyway, dog. All right, I gotta cut that off. No, nah, I mean, I think so. I think some people are just like. They're just fans. They don't get deep into the game. They don't, they just root for their team. And it's like what I heard. You know what I'm saying? Like, I heard they straight. And that, and that's about as far as they go. There you go. Streeter hater. Well, I got a better one for you. Not not D Streeter. As long as you've been on here, look at it. Roger Dodgers say, Mark Streeter hater. They get your name wrong. <laughs> I ain't know your name was Mark. <laughs> Mark Street, a hater. Third, food you get thrown right in the hater dungeon, huh? Soon, hey, as soon as you come to the dog side, but but anyway, nah, man, we're just having fun. But uh, I, I there's another piece that came up, man, that came across the title today. I think it was Sports Illustrated. They said they made an op ed since we're talking Colorado a little bit here. Um, an op ed about what was it, Travis Hunter? Some NFL. Let me just read the I want to read it right because I don't want to be like I'm saying solid. I want to make sure I read the read the title correct. Oh God, he solid, bro. If that wasn't the best, like cartoon to sum it up. Okay, Sports Illustrated. Which now, when you say Sports Illustrated, people say that's not a reputable entity. But whatever, opt in. Travis, this is the title. Travis Hunter disrespected by NFL teams who don't believe he's a two-way talent. Uh, the subtitle is, there are many who need to accept, the, accept that Colorado star player is different. What's your thoughts on that talent, on that uh, the headline? Travis Hunter is disrespected by NFL teams who don't believe he's a two-way talent. I'm, I'm not. I'm not sure what that means. I'm not sure if they're because we don't get guys in the NFL often playing two ways. I mean, so it doesn't seem earth shattering to me that the NFL would say that. But remember, all right, now you got some fans in here. <laughs> all right, go ahead. I'm listening. I would love to hear what. I would love to hear what. What do they see him as? Um, I don't know. I said this 
And you know I'm a defensive guy, dog. I, I'm a defensive guy through and through. And you heard me. I'm the dude that told Jane Williams should be a defensive end going to get the quarterback. I, I'm that dude. But I personally think that Travis Hunter is such a dynamic wide receiver, especially in today's game. I think he can break the game open. Not saying he can't play cornerback. I believe he can play cornerback at a super high level. But if I had to pick one, I would love to see him play wide receiver. That's what I would love to see. And y'all know I'm a defensive guy. I'd be the first one to be like, well, you're a DB. What's your reasoning? You something you've seen? You <clears throat> okay, think so yeah. When, mm -hmm. when I look at Travis Hunter play, well, first of all, his football IQ is ridiculous, right? I think he has a super uh a super good football IQ. He understands the game. He understands how to play the game. Uh he can play it at a high level. And when he plays wide receiver, when I watched him playing, he he does things, he makes miraculous and spectacular things happen when the ball is in his hand. I forget what game that was. Maybe it was Stanford, the spin move. I forget what game it was. Or he caught the ball and made that spin move. When he went up and caught the ball and his leg kind of snapped back and he came up with it. Those type of things. When you play cornerback, when you play cornerback, you're limited to the ball. Now, you can do some great things without the ball in your hand. But the thing about him being on the football field at wide receiver, he is always a potential threat to the defense. Always. You get where right. I'm coming from? Yeah, right. At, you don't know at any given moment he can the ball can he can touch the ball. And that's why I think so he is also dangerous because I do believe in, and he's not the fastest, but he plays fast and he gets open. So and even so, if it's not there, he can test the ball. He gonna he go he come down. I, the dude's athleticism is is dumb. In a in a right way. I'm sorry, Colt. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm sorry. So because of, because of his imp, because of the, the the potential impact that he can always make at wide receiver is why you saying that. Yeah, just being on the football field. Yeah, him right. being on the football field may change your coverage. It may make you change your personnel. It may, may even make you change your call. But him right. being on the defensive side of the ball, if I feel like he's a threat, I just go the other way. If I feel like he's that guy, I can you know I can do things. I can manipulate it. But when he's on offense, he's the manipulator. Didn't, didn't it used to be a big deal for a guy to be that lockdown cornerback, take away one side of the field? You don't think it's as impactful anymore? It is, but I don't know if he's a lockdown cornerback just because of overall speed. I'm just being okay. honest. I don't think he's overall fast enough overall hmm. to be the lockdown guy in the NFL. And I call it. We're talking the NFL. And so, therefore, that's why I think it also in lie, that in lies a problem right there that that you talk about overall speed, overall speed, bro. Think about this. We just saw Will Shipley. Listen to what I'm gonna tell y'all. Will Shipley just ran a four three, the running back from Clemson. Uh huh. Four threes are just whatever. <laughs> That's, that's the running back, dog. Like four three is like the average. Tell what you, now. Tell what you really want to say. <laughs> no, what I'm saying, we just saw the middle linebacker from North Carolina State run a four four. We just saw Dallas Turner, defensive end, run a four four. So, say what, what, what you really want to say. Will, Will Shipley, right? dog. <laughs> Will Ship, no, Will Shipley. <laughs> I, right. So it seemed like I don't say it disrespectfully. <laughs> I'm just saying when he runs, he has good speed, but I did not know I would never clock him in a four three. No, I would I, never I, clock him in a I four. Not, I, I wanted to I'm just four three nine, but it's a four three, regardless. Regardless. So that's why I said at corner. Now, what makes him faster on the football field is this. 
because yeah. he can anticipate, he can see, he can he can do those things and be very good at it. He can play zone. He understands route combinations. He knows when this guy break here, look for the deep route over the top. He understands spacing concept. He understands levels. He understands snag routes. He gets right. all he of plays that. Plays fast. He plays fast. You know, but I think dynamically, and right. I, as I, I, I'm surprised I'm even saying that. But wide receiver, I think would be awesome. Hmm. What are your thoughts? I, I I think I would have to agree with you on that. I think um I think more dynamic at wide receiver. Um I think more marketable at wide receiver. I think he I think I, I think he's more entertaining at wide receiver. Um I, I think I, I think he helps the team a lot more from the wide receiver position. Um, when it comes to in the because entertainment, when it when it comes to a lot of other things, so yeah, man, I'm I'm with you on that one. Now I think throw him out there every now and then at cornerback somehow. Like, is, is there a way in the NFL you see a reason to be? Hey, listen to throw Travis Hunter out there every now and then. No, not no. from not being primarily receiver to corner. Mm -hmm. Not saying he can't do it. I'm just saying. I don't I don't see that. Now what I will say is if you if you as a team decide to bring him as a corner and you give him a couple of plays on offense, yes. But I don't see it the other way around. I just you know unless some, unless you get in an injury book. Unless you get in an injury situation where I think he's a, he's I think he's a threat to take the ball. I, I like you said, he's very, very, very smart. And I think he opposes a threat. To take the ball. Um, I'm gonna give you an example, and this is seven on seven, so it's not equal, right? I remember Brandon Ennis used to play with South Florida Express. Um, but he didn't always play with them, he played with another team. But every now and then they would pick him up and bring him on. So it was the championship. They was at Atlanta, Atlanta Falcon Stadium, championship, big time game. Um, and he didn't always start because he wasn't a normal on that team. Mm -hmm. But Halfway through the game, they threw him in on defense. They were down, and he instantly took the ball. <laughs> he instantly, first play, got an interception, took the ball, gave the ball back to his team. Mm -hmm. Um, I think Travis Hunter, like, remember that play against uh, in the first game where they TCU? tried him on the TCU and they, fucked, I don't know, they went at him on the goal line, down and out, and, and boom. <laughs> <Got him. laughs> right, he, right, he, he, he took the ball. I think um, I have never seen it before, but I think that guy is a that guy can strike fear sometimes in the quarterback, or make him think twice, or make him you know what I'm saying? Just because because everything in, in NFL is got them half seconds and oh one second you bomb and another second the ball half second the ball took. It, I, I I've never seen a kid a player used like that, but but um I, I don't know. He has a dynamic about him that he could get you the ball back or pose that threat. Yeah, here's what I'll say. And I was gonna keep this so all the coach members, y'all could go run till that. <laughs> there used to be a thing called a squat corner. Okay. Right? Cover two corner, short area field. I think that's where Travis Hunter excels. Short distance within that 10 to 15 yard range. That's where I think he lives now as a corner, right? The squat corner position. If you look at a lot of his interceptions, short yardage, small areas, right? Where he's like, somebody said he's more quick than he is fast. Where he can make a decision. He can decipher what's going on. He can he can dissect it as it's happening, but it's all happening here. If you look at those great interceptions, they happened in short spots, right? That one where he kind of fell on his knees and, and kind of caught that ball, which was an awesome interception. Right. Awesome interception, right? It was a hitch right there. I think it was almost a a, a, um, a corner concept. There were corner hitch, smash concept, what I want to say. Catches it, boom. 
the one on TCU, they tried to run it and get it, bring the guy out the back of the end zone. I'm out the backfield. Boom, he caught it. Now that is where he truly excels in his cornerback play. What is, did you explain what a squat corner is? Yeah, I just said like a cover two guy, short areas. Squat corners are, are the short area guys, right? The guys that you said they play that 10 to 15 yard range, basically like a cover two corner, right? Those are the those are the guys. Zone corners are different. So, so like Peter says, zone, you got cover threes, you got uh-huh. uh <laughs> Alpha Rue. I'm gonna I'm gonna answer that. So you got cover twos, I mean um you got zone play, you got three deep ball. If you saw deep ball, even against that Stanford game, remember he kind of got turned around back there on that yeah. deep ball. Uh-huh. Uh, I'm not saying it doesn't happen, it happens to everybody because you got to give disclaimers out to the cult member. Everybody right. gets beat deep. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Shut it up. <laughs> but you got to treat them like this, dog. You got to treat them like a hostile witness, dog. You can't come in here playing, dog. They bite your head off. <laughs> a hostile witness. <laughs> Real, dog. You got to treat them like a hostile, dog, because they come here tripping, man, typing in all caps and everything. So um, Alpha Roo says, nope, I disagree. Cover two corner has to play the run. I can't imagine him taking on Larry Allen over any pulling guard. Travis Hunter tackles. Well, well, okay, well, well I'm, here, I'm, here, I'm here to tell you this, dog. I'm here to tell you this. Your football for the, people, for the people who think that any cornerback, right, <laughs> is taking take on Larry you know, Allen. Go take right. on Larry Allen. Bro, you listen. Yeah. yeah, listen, listen. Those tight ends and those tackles and those, those, those guys and the cornerbacks don't look like they should be on the same field. They look like they play two different sports. So the, the cornerbacks are are, are, are are trying to figure this shit out every day. All the cornerbacks. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? It's not just a Travis Hunter. All of them are trying to figure it out. Yeah, I, so I get what Alpha Rue is saying, but, bro, ain't too many corners taking on Larry Allen, dog. Like, I get where you're coming from. Um. What? What was the what was the Gator cornerback light skin guy went to pitch went to Pittsburgh maybe six years ago it was really really good I don't think he lived up to light skin kid from the he 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 played for the Gators played for the Gators not Hargrave was it Hargrave Hargrave light skin talking about Vince Hargrave I mean of uh, uh, was it Hargrave Joe Hayden. But these dudes be good in this coming section. Boy. Yeah, they be on it, boy. They be on it. I remember I was at a seven on seven, and they brought in Joe Hayden. They brought in Andre Johnson. They brought in light skin tight end. Went to Washington Redskins. Was really was supposed to be really really good. Got injured a lot. What was the Redskin tight end man? Maybe four years ago. They they they'll say in the comment section. From the Gators. No, I don't know who he played for. Um, but. The Redskins best tight end they had the last 10 years. Somebody will say it. Somebody will say it. It was Joe Hayden, Andre Johnson, and it was the tight end. Somebody's going to say it. Okay. When I saw Joe Hayden standing next to the Jordan Reed, Jordan Reed, boy, these dudes good, boy. When I saw Joe Hayden standing next to Jordan Reed Hayes, I said to myself, he, Joe Hayden wants to tackle this dude? Playing two different sports. Jordan Reed <coughs> looked like a transformer. <laughs> I don't know if that's a good thing or not. Transformer. I don't know. Bro, I know what you're saying. He, I know what you're saying. He was a big man. And so Joe Hayden, the, the, the quarterbacks look like lawyers. They look like normal dudes. Car salesman. Yeah. Um, and that's what I realized. Like, like, damn. Like he has to figure out how to tackle him. So, so for them to be saying that that one cornerback has a problem with dealing with the offensive, th- they all got a problem when the offensive tackle come around the corner. Yeah, I, I'll say this. Can I say this? And I know a lot uh-huh. of people don't want to hear this. So a lot of people saying, "Oh, uh, my man," say Reeves not fast, but I don't think y'all really understand that. Also, Travis Hunter not the biggest guy out there, guys. He, he don't have a lot. Of, 
He don't got a lot of weight, dog. See, mm -hmm. y'all got to look at all of that. Y'all, y'all. I don't think y'all really realizing. Yeah, Revis may not have been fast, but he was handsy, and he was a he wasn't a little dude. Right. Travis Hunter might be one sixty five, six one six two. Now he taller because he walked walked up. On, he about six two, one sixty five, one seventy. Hell, let's see what he listed as. He's slim, see, though. I've he seen him. Him. I, he's slim, though. I've seen him. Well, I got me some dinner waiting in there, boy. They got him at, they got him at got 186, 185. I highly disagree. He 185. He may be on some supplements that has some fishing weights in his pocket. He's Nah, he's super slim. He, he's slim. I said I've Darnell Washington. Um, I mean, Dar Darrell Revis. I'm sorry. Did I say Darnell Washington? Darrell oh, Revis? you said Darrell Revis. You said Darrell okay, Revis. Okay, I don't know said Darnell Washington. Okay. Uh, so I say all that to say, and then when we see him, right? I'm not saying that a cornerback need to be a head buster. Travis gets you down. I'm just being honest. But that's not a bad thing, right? I always believe that. You don't got to knock the dude helmet off. I mean, it's a plus if you do. Right. Once you get him down, it's called tackle. It ain't called tackle the hell out of him. It's called tackle football, right? right. You don't have tackles and then tackle the hell out of him. Ain't two different categories. It's a tackle. So you get him down, I get it. Um, but that's just what I was saying in regards to that. Nah, bro, like the dog, yeah, at that level, at that level, man, these people look like they yeah, they they look like they supposed to be playing two different sports. They don't even look like they're supposed to be on the same field. Nah, it's a different world, dog. You talking about big individual like you talking about mutants, dog. I don't think people understand a lot of these football players are mutants, dog. They don't especially they don't. today. Especially today, especially in today's football with the supplements they take, they're growing faster, all of that stuff, bro. They don't understand. Oh, these cats are huge, bro. No, nah, they, they don't. They don't. They don't six, understand. Six, five, three, thirty, and they ain't fat. Like, bruh, bruh, bruh. <laughs> You gotta own you gotta own see how dog. Uh <laughs> what's your shirt say, man? What you what, 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 what you got going on over there, dog? My shirt say this is my Friday shirt, man. It say every pizza is a personal pizza. If you believe in yourself, every hmm. pizza is a personal pizza. Hmm. If you believe in yourself. Just have it. I just try to do something different. Oh, it's Friday, man. I'm trying to. I might have to ask Chad PPT about that one. <laughs> Every pizza is a personal pizza. If you believe in yourself. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to go get me a large, dog. <laughs> Extra I'm large. A, I'm going to sleep on that one. You got to all see how, dog? Uh, I think I got one. Hold up. I know you don't have one because you keep asking me. Because you would have popped it up that quick. I'm going to have to sleep on that one. What, my shirt? Yeah. That's messed up, dog. <laughs> okay. I got an I don't see how. Oh, I got a great I don't see how. I'm going to play it right here. Okay, right. I'm going to play it. I don't see how this happened. I'm going to let it play. And then I get it. But whoever whoever's the recipient of this gift... I hope to God they're doing well. I really do. I hope to God they're doing well. Let me see if I can put this up here. Duh, 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 uh. All right, here we go. Check how crazy this is if y'all haven't seen this. This was on Twitter. The Twitter fingers turn the trigger fingers. All right, watch this, y'all. Breaking news, a helicopter from San Diego carrying a heart for transplant has crashed in Los Angeles. All right, Maria, we've got a couple pieces of video we want to show you, but basically they got the heart out. You can see them taking it to the doctors here on top of this Keck USC hospital in downtown LA. The doctor is now going to move away from the helicopter. Two people we understand were hurt in this uh, crash. Again, it was took off from Gillespie Field, and then it was going to Los Angeles for this transplant. You see the doctor going here, and then suddenly hits this piece of metal on the ground and drops the heart. Unfortunately, right there, you see they rush over to get and we begin, bro. How do you drop the heart, dog? It's already in a dog on helicopter crash. I don't see how 
It's not more than five people around this guy making sure the path is clear. The helicopter crashed. I think two people were injured, but I think they lived. They were okay. The heart survived. The patient is the waiting for survived. the heart. All right, the, that's, that ain't no different. You talking about you woke? Talking about after you died, you woke up. You woke up dead. No, no. The Reaper. Hey, hey, listen, man. It was, it was his final destination. The Reaper so, was making sure he was getting where he's supposed to go that day. So my question is, when the second, oh, the funny thing is, when they dropped the heart, you notice they went and picked the heart up. They left the doctor back there. I hope that wasn't the doctor that was doing the surgery. Ten like, <laughs> Streeter, go in the corner right now. You got seven minutes. Go over there. Ten second rule, huh? God don't give me no germs. Devil don't give me a worm. What do you say? God don't give me no germs. <laughs> devil don't give me no worm. I ain't never God heard that. One. God don't give me no germs. Devil don't give me no worm. I ain't never heard that. Put that thing. Back. I think they're pumping, man. Put that thing back in there. Street, I know you went to New Orleans. I ain't never heard that one before. I ain't never heard that one. I used to heard God made dirt and dirt don't hurt. <laughs> Pick up my own see how, dog. You gonna play the LeBron one? There you go. Bars I'll wait. And, and the, the jury and, and all the other that don't matter means absolutely nothing. And uh, I see a lot of these young kids, they get so unfocused about stuff that, that is um, so material that they can they can lose their focus. Just worry about the game. I mean, you worry about the game, everything to take care of itself. You worry about the game, worry about your family, and then worry about the game some more. And be selfish, too. It's okay to be selfish because you have to be a little bit selfish to be able to uh, to be great. Some people have to fall to the wayside at times. Um, I don't see how, dog. If you read through these comments, right? Mm-hmm. I don't see how people hate themselves so much. First comment, man, shut up. You rich. Your kids have nothing to worry about, period. Oh, yes. Isn't Braun getting seven million NIL money? Look, bro. Stop, bro. Listen. Oh my God. What's going on? My phone just started talking for no reason. Shaniqua said, What's up? The difference you came in this league with a hundred M's dealing Hummer. Oh, oh, this says the kid that was driving a Hummer in high school. Bro. I don't understand why people hate themselves so much, though. Because that's all it is, is a reflection of them looking at LeBron and only thing they could think about is he's filthy rich. He has nothing to worry about. I, I, I don't see how people just emotionally just fumble over themselves, dog, like that. Like, Oh, you used to have chains and stuff. You drove home. Yeah, he did all the dumb shit. Now he's here with more wisdom and he's telling you, hey, man, it don't have to be that. But can I say this? Uh-huh. Who's this? He didn't say you can't have that stuff. He said focus on these things and those things will come. So he what did. I'm saying to you is he focused on those things and those things came. See, Remember what he said. He didn't say nobody shouldn't have anything. Just focus on the game. You see, he said, you, focus, you he see said focus on the game, focus on your family, and then focus on the game some more, and those things will come. You see, Peter? This is what I'm saying. He's he a little wild, dog. You, sometimes you got that, that. That's one of them. He's he a little wild, dog. Nah, he can't talk about materialism when he was driving the Hummer. He said, see? <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Bro, I'm telling you. Dog, listen, do you guys understand that if you get to a certain amount of money in your life, you could drive a Hummer, you could drive a Lamborghini, you can do whatever you want to do <laughs> if it's <laughs> if it's if it doesn't bother your bank account. Can, can, Streak, you don't mind me saying this. Again, this is another situation. I'm gonna make a shirt this. I'm gonna make it. I know they probably got a shirt, but I'm gonna make more. Make the shirt, dog. The shirt is gonna say. Stop making the exception the rule. He is talking to all of the kids that are not LeBron James. Y'all are measuring up who he's speaking to. He's speaking to the 99% of other athletes out there in the world that yeah. don't have his talent to say, right. focus on the game, focus on these things, and those other good things will come. 
Yes, right. you're not 6'9", you're not 240 pounds, you're not this, you're not that. Focus on these things. Focus on the game, focus on ah. your family, focus on the game some more. And then we're, those things will come. But for him, he was the top of the food chain. Jeremiah Smith, top of the food chain. These other guys, top of the food chain. But guess who you do have? You have guys who are not at the top of the food chain that we just saw in the draft. Focus on the game. In the comments, the kid from FAMU, the kid from FAM, the receiver from FAMU, focused on the game. But but how, but how does it get so complicated? In the comment section, did hey, he dog. say did he say anything wrong? Anybody in the comment section? This is why Kanye started wearing that mask over his face, because when the comments come from a faceless person, you can't judge it. Just take just just take the knowledge. Anybody in the comment section, did he say anything wrong? No. The problem is, dog, people down here look up there. And that's why you ever heard that saying it's lonely at the top. You know why it's lonely at the top street? I, I know. I totally understand it. I totally understand. No, no, but I'm saying, but, but, but it's lonely at the top because not a lot of, it's not a lot of room. If you look at the pyramid, it gets smaller as you get to the top. When we all down here at the bottom, man, but look at LeBron, but he a hater, boy. Uh, and then when I get to the top, but look at Hayes, but here. Now, me and you were just talking about how LeBron a hater. <laughs> it's easy when we Bro. all complaining and bitching. People saying he drove a Hummer in high school. Listen, he's telling you, he's telling you, he did all these things. He's seen all the toys. And I'm here to tell you, hey, that ain't, that ain't what it's about. <laughs> I got all the toys. You know what I'm saying? And that's not what it's about. So I walked through the fire. I dealt with it to come back and tell y'all, and hey, you're going to have to cut some people off. The material things don't matter. I got eight Lamborghinis. They don't matter. And then all the people who are less fortunate, all they see is, is oh, he rich. He ain't got no problem. Why are you trying to help people? <laughs> and you know what I'm going to say, Street, to that? I don't mean this by any disrespect. It's just the first name that comes to my mind. So I don't mean any disrespect to this guy. And you clean me up if I'm wrong here. He is the difference between him and maybe a Kwame Brown. I don't know. I'm only saying it because he's popular. He, I knew he was a kid straight out. Of, wasn't he straight out of high school kid too? Yeah. What I'm talking about is the look at the kinds of career. Maybe LeBron did focus on the game. Maybe. Mm -hmm. True. I'm not saying Kwame didn't focus on the game, but maybe didn't focus as much. Yeah. Maybe he didn't have the work ethic. Maybe it wasn't. Maybe right. he couldn't. So yeah. He's telling you there's a reason LeBron James had the Hummer in high school, but he's still playing, still the face of the league, still been wait, almost 20 years in the league, still being paid at a high level, still is the man. Versus other guys who had the same opportunity, came out of high school, top-ranked player. Not saying their career is bad, because y'all right. always say, just because I say love, that means I don't like right. But their careers are not the same. Right. Maybe because they didn't focus on the game as much. Maybe. I don't know. But it's a common thread between all the people that focus on the game. Go look at Kobe. Always focused on the game. Consider go down. Look at look at LeBron. Look at the goats got the same formula. You notice that LeBron James, Michael Jordan, Kobe Bryant. Right. The ones we consider the goats. Same formula. Same formula, dog. The game. Matter of fact, hold up. I just fixed this joint too. Oh, you mother. Your asses up. LeBron is on that new bounce. Yeah, though. I, I mean, I yeah. It's just I understand exactly what it is. I, I understand, like, yeah. Once you get to the top, all people see is money. They don't see you as a person. Um, the man has created a media company, and if you pay attention to the movies they put out, the documentaries that they put out, they're trying their best to educate people, dog. <laughs> They're trying their best to make you understand things you might not understand.
but Coach Prime, the greatest corner, he focused on the game. He used the the name Prime to make his persona bigger. But behind right. closed doors, it's about the game. And y'all bash the dude. I'm telling you, you can't help us, dog. You can't. You can't mother. help us. You can't, right, bro. You man. can't. You can't help us. <laughs> got me some dinner in there, man. I'm about to get on up out of here, man. I got me a whole pizza. I'm ready. Woo! All, All right. right, man. So listen, seven eight six four five nine four nine nine. If y'all want to get down with IOD score, I send a text or the link is in the description on Street Side. If y'all don't know what IOD Squad is, man, that's every day we go in there and trade. We put out the plays. Um, you can see what we're trading. We talked about crypto. We explained to people, hey, crypto down. What you what should what what we're gonna do when crypto is down, where we go, what other cryptos out there. Um, it is every day, bro. I mean, you ain't gotta you don't gotta know nothing about trading, just get in there, ask questions, because everybody in there are new newbies. But you have to figure out a way for your money to make money if you ever gonna keep money, period. Even Hayes brought some Bitcoin today, goddammit. I got three dollars, dog. That giant three dollars at twelve cent. <laughs> Why you think I got pepperoni on the pizza, dog? Peter say LeBron solid. He's solid. He's solid. <laughs> anyway, man, I appreciate y'all, man. Thank y'all. Peace, love, and head grease. Listen, next week I got some things to take care of with the family. I may be on sparingly, but I believe Street you will be continuing going. We may have a yeah, dog. We're gonna have a few stand ins coming in. See what I we can I had Jay Leno or somebody come on. But over 315 people in here. I appreciate y'all, man. Thank y'all so much. Just something we want to talk about, something that popped across the ticker today. Uh, and it is what it is. But make sure you go ahead and hit the like, share, and subscribe button on this side and that side of the street. And yep. uh, we'll make it happen, man. All the way. We all the way from Colorado uh, today. And the people down there chilling and in the snow or whatever it is. So with all that being said, appreciate y'all. Thank y'all. Uh, we out of here. Peace. Yep.